Hey everyone, this is Kayla here from the library. I hope you all are having a wonderful, well, I hope you had a wonderful week and I hope you're ready to have a wonderful weekend. Um, today is a very nice day, so hopefully it is not, because it's getting really kind of cloudy, um, kind of dark clouds at that, so hopefully it won't rain on us until we get this done. But I hope you all are enjoying um, your time at home if you're out and about it's been nice weather it's been very cool and I hope you have enjoyed this weather as you can see I've got a jacket on so I'm kind of freezing a little bit and <laughs> I like the warmer weather uh, but anyway back to our program today we are going to make giant bubbles now some of you may have done bubbles at home of your homemade recipe now there's different things that you can do. Um, I know a lot of, like I've done at home, you can just do dish detergent. And you know, that makes the galore of bubbles. Uh, but this recipe is a little bit different. Now, um, now we'll, I'm gonna go back and tell you real quick, if you cannot hear me, I'm out in the back of the library right now, so there may be cars and there may hear the air. So if you cannot hear me, Please let me know. Just comment and I'll see the comment below and I'll try to pay attention, okay? Now, uh, back to this. Our recipe is a little bit different that I have found. I found it on Pinterest. Um, like I said, it's a, just a tiny bit. It does have dish detergent in it, but it's a little bit all, uh, add extras into it. So, the ingredients, if you want to follow along with me today, you can. Um, but the ingredients that you ha need is, of course, water. Now, I use tap water. And in this recipe, it says distilled is best. I'm not for sure what the difference is for that, for bubbles. But they say distilled is best, but it says tap water is fine. And that's what I use today. I use what I have on hand. And that's what I had today. Um, so you need six of cups, six cups of water. A half a cup of Blue Dawn dish detergent. And they says they use the Ultra Concentrated, but Dawn Original is even better. That's what I've got is Dawn dish, dish detergent. I cannot say that today. But I have that. Um, then you need um, a half a cup of cornstarch. You can get this at the dollar store for a dollar, a box of it. That's why I've, I've still got the box that I've used for other programs. So whatever you have in hand, that's fine. Um, and then you need a tablespoon, one tablespoon of baking powder. No, it's got on here in parentheses, not baking soda. Make sure it's baking powder, okay? Then you need a tablespoon of glycerin or a personal lubricant. Like I've got, um, I've got gl vegetable glycerin, but I think you can also use like baby oil. So if you've got that on hand, that'll work as well. So, or if you've got like a liquid coconut oil, now, it ain't the hard kind, like you buy in the thing that's kind of hard, you know, it hardens up. You want the liquidified coconut oil. But any of the one will work, but I've got, like I said, vegetable glycerin. So glycerin will work. You can get the glycerin in the baking aisle, like where you can make the pretty cakes and stuff. I think that may be at Walmart in the cake decorating aisle. I'm not sure if it's in the other baking aisle or not, but I know you can get it in that department. Uh, but vegetable glycerin will work, so either one will work. Um, and that's all it takes. So this is the homemade giant bubble solution. Now, oh, the air unit kicked on. <laughs> so if you can't hear me, please let me know. Now I am going to go over, before we start into our giant bubbles, I'm gonna go, go ahead and go over with you what I've got planned uh, for October. Now, um, some of them, the first one is in escape room, October the 2nd, that Friday. So that'll be something simple. And uh, the first two Fridays, they will be videos. They will not be live. Um, I will be getting married uh, next weekend. So that's the reason why the escape rooms is on Friday, because I'll be off. And then the following, I'll be gone uh, for a trip. So um, I will not be available to do live. So those will be regular videos, but keep a look for them. Yeah, they will be on there but the october the second will be an escape room so watch for that october the 9th it is since october is national pizza month we're going to be celebrating that now october the 9th is actually international pizza day 
So, but we're going to put a twist on it. We are going to be making pizza, but a whole new twist. Let's see here. We got... Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, but the pizza is going... We're going to make Texas toast pizza. Now, if you want to look it up, see what it looks like. Get on Pinterest and put Texas toast pizza and it will show you. It looks amazing. If you like pizza, garlic toast, and that kind of thing, then you'll love this. But all it is is just Texas toast, and you can get pizza sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Or if you like sausage or something like that, you can just do cheese. Or if you like just cheese, you can just put cheese on it. Either way you want to. That's it. So, it's going to be something something simple that you can do, that the kids can do. I try to find recipes that kids can do just by themselves or, of course, with the parental supervision. But something that's not so hard or difficult. This is something they can make. So... October the 9th, we are doing Texas Toast Pizza, so watch for that one. Uh, October the 16th, we're going to be making Flome. If you've never seen Flome, it's in some of the aisles that you can get, like, the little nifty um, gifts, like, for down the toy aisle. It's not slime, but it's kind of like slime, but it's not, I guess you could say. Uh, but anyway, it, it's something that you can sculpt with you know, or play with, kids can play with. I don't think it's as messy as um, slime, but but anyway, if you like slime, you'll like plum. So we're gonna go another way about this. We're gonna use what we can we have on this, because I don't have everything. Uh, there's one particular thing, these beads that you put in, um, I don't wanna say the wrong words, poly something beads, but anyway, it's the beads that you put in bean bags. It's that kind of thing. We don't have that, but I'm going to show you another way that day uh, to substitute that, okay? So, that's just part of this being in this pandemic. We're going to substitute stuff that we have at home and go from there, okay? Um, October the 23rd is a science experiment day. We are going to do salt crystal pumpkins and then a pumpkin volcano, okay? So, that's what we're going to do on that day. So it's getting closer to Halloween, so we're going to go with a Halloween theme closer towards the end of the month. And then October the 30th is going to be a little bit different. We are going to make Halloween... Oh, somebody's beeping. Beep, beep. Anyway, we're going to make Halloween cookies. This will be a take and make activity. Now, it'll be a little bit different. So what you can do... I got bugs flying. What you can do is that the week before this activity, or even during that week, because, of course, you know, that's probably going to be on Friday. You can pick up the kits to make your cookies at home. Um, you know, you, you'll pick up the cookie, and then you'll pick up the decorating um, supplies that I'll have in your in a bag. You each have it, in it but you want to sign up for it. That way I have enough. It'll be your registration, okay, on that. That way I know how many to make for and the plan for. So, please register, and I will get, well, just watch our Facebook page. And uh, to keep an eye on that, I'm going to register because we'll get that started here or in the newspaper. It'll get started here pretty soon. Um, but that's what October is planned for. So, and adults, if you're watching, do not feel left out. I've got some different things planned for you all as well. We're going to be um, doing a flyer bulb program. Um, and then there's going to be a pumpkin that you make out of a book. So, it's a recycling book, we're going to make a pumpkin out of it. Um, we've got that plan. We're gonna have learn how to make cheese curds. We're gonna fry some cheese curds up and different things like that. So keep a watch on that for adults. And I, I'm not okay. So now let's get back to our bubbles. We're gonna try to make these bubbles. Now I will fair warn you, I have not tried these out. I don't know how it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. That's just a part of experimenting with it, okay? My last program uh, last week did not turn out so well. I tried to do the bottle rocket and that didn't work, so we went with an alternate route and did a pencil with a bag. So, if you have tried those, please let me see your pictures. I hope you took pictures. I would love to see them. Do not ever forget to take pictures. If you try this at home, please do not forget to take pictures. I would love to see them. I know all the girls at the library would like to see you all participating and trying it as well, okay? I hope you have better luck than I do. I know you all will. You always come up with something. Anyway, we've got the best patrons. Now, back to this. What you need. Now, I went ahead. Whoop, my paper's going to fly. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take you up here because I've got a spot set up. Let me get this camera switched here. Okay. Now, I've got my spot set up. I brought a little wand and a little container at home to do if you've got just something simple at home. So I brought that. And then I've also put some in a bowl here. I have made my very own wand and worked to make the giant bubbles. So we'll see if my tactic came to, to good, okay. Let me see. I can go ahead and do this right here in front of me. Let me get switched back here. That way you don't have to look at my face. But anyway, like I already made some. So like I said before, you just need six cups of water. And I've already got some here. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here. Now, I am going to go ahead and do what you need. To, let's see here. I'm going to follow my recipe. You need to dissolve the cornstarch, okay? So I'm gonna try to do this one, whoops, let me get you back to where you can see here. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed and go from there. Mm -hmm. So if it goes off the wall, <laughs> let me know. Cause who knows where I'll have this thing at when I'm not concentrating on where I'm at. I'm trying to give you a bird's eye view here. Now, like I said before, you need six cups of water, which I have, and then you're gonna go ahead and get a half a cup of cornstarch, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get our half a cup of cornstarch here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff off that way. I don't like dump it everywhere. Okay. Now I'll probably have this, I'm gonna put my sleeve up that way. I don't have it everywhere all over me. Because I'll probably have this everywhere. Now, I hope you all are enjoying this beautiful weather. It is very nice out. I am just very co-natured. I'd rather have summer than fall or winter. But that's just me, though. I do like fall, though. I like all the pumpkins and going to pumpkin patches and... Of course, you get apple cider and all the pumpkin fixings you can imagine you could get. I like trying anything pumpkin. I don't know about you all. But I guess I'm a pumpkin fanatic, you call it. I don't there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Anybody else like pumpkin stuff, like pumpkin food? <laughs> I'm going to get on a pumpkin kick instead of my bubbles. All right. Now... We got our cornstarch. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in here, and whoop, and we're gonna whisk it until it's mostly dissolved to what it'll do. Anyway. Now it said in the recipe some of the cornstarch won't dissolve completely, and it may even settle at the bottom when you're using your bubble mixture, but it won't affect the quality of your bubbles. Okay. Now, I'm just doing this in a pitcher. You can do this in a big bowl. I just found this. Well, we've got a big pitcher here. So, I thought, well, that'll work just as good to pour into. So, that's what I'm, I'm trying not to make such a mess today. Now, the reason why I'm going ahead and make this recipe again after I made a batch is because it says it you want to allow your bubbles, uh, bubble mixture to sit for at least an hour before using. Um... And so that's why I went ahead and made a batch a couple of hours ago. That way, um, that'll have it, you know. Now I'm going to go ahead and get, let me see if I can grip this better. <laughs> I said, whoops, if I have you going every which way, <laughs> please message. Because like I said, I'm doing this one hand, so it kind of makes it a little bit hard right now. But we'll we'll make do with it. Now, I'm going ahead and getting ready. We're going to have a half a cup of Blue Dawn dish detergent. Whoop! I got bubbles flying everywhere. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set you down here. I'll let you face me here. No, I did this outside that way I wouldn't make a mess because knowing myself, I would make a mess. Mm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get the bake, uh, baking powder. Don't forget baking powder, not baking soda. I know it's probably backwards because the way that I've got the camera facing, but anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and get it fixed too as well. And then I'll turn you, the camera back towards that way, okay? Now. Okay, I'm gonna turn you back around here. That way you're not looking at me, my face. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the baking powder in. You need a tablespoon of baking powder. And we're gonna whisk that up real quick. Now, now it also said to not whisk as much as you could tell. Mine's kind of foamed up. You don't want to make sure you want to stir it well, but be careful not to create a lot of froth, they call it. So, I'm going to go ahead. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, let's get some glycerin. We need some vegetable glycerin. You want a tablespoon of that. We're going to go ahead and pour that in. I'm sorry if I make you dizzy. I'm uh, keep apologizing, but I'm sorry. And then we're going to do our half a cup of dish detergent, of course. Alright. And let's whisk that together. It's going to give you that blue color, of course. Now, mine's going to get... For some reason, it's going to bubble up. I have more froth through it this time than I did. But I guess I'm stirring more is why. And then you can just let it sit. And there you go. Then you've got your bubbles, okay? And it makes a lot of bubble. Now, we're going to go over here. I made my very own... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> My own bubble wand here. All you need is two dowel rods, some tape, some yarn, and then if you've got like a little, um, well, I'm just having a brain moment here. Some little hook here. <laughs> I can't think at the moment, but anyway. Something to hang at the bottom. Okay, a war wash. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I hope I'm entertaining for you all, but anyway. Um, I'm going to turn you around back here again. Now, um, so I've made my very own of that. So we're going to try to make our bubbles now, okay? Let's see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and put, this is my little wand here that I'm going to try to make. I'm going to go ahead and let that yarn soak. And that way it gets all good and wet. Let's try the wand here. You may have to mix it up a little bit. There you go. This one makes big bubbles itself. Miss Missy's coming to join the fun. Now I've got it in a selfie, Missy. So if you want to turn it around so you can watch, you can. You want to turn it around? Mm -hmm. Make yourself. I don't want to see myself. Oh, okay, well, you're good. <laughs> we can turn it around it way she can see it better. Miss Missy, come out to help. Okay. But it makes giant bubbles like the regular does not. It doesn't. So. It's pretty. It is. It makes giant bubbles. I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay. Let's try with this homemade wand here. <laughs> no, from there. Nope. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I think my, my homemade wand's not working anymore. It wants to it, break on me. It's not sticking to the screens, is it? Yep. Oh, there's one. Yep. I almost had it. I found 
on this one. There we go. Oh, you did it. Yay! Oh, it worked. Yeah. Big bubble. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, people. <laughs> But anyway, another way you can do this is if you got like one of them, one of the kitty pools. I meant to bring one of my pigs because he's got a couple of them. And I forgot to, and you take a hula hoop and then you raise it up, put somebody in the middle and you raise it up. So that's another way. I meant to do that today and I was gonna do that to one of the girls, but I forgot to bring it. So, but anyway, here's your, yep, this one just ain't gonna work for me at all. Okay, anyway. That one makes me mixed up. Enough for that though. Big giant bubble. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the program today. I know I have. It's been nice and getting out and everything. But go out and enjoy the day. It's still, it's it's cold out, but you can still out and enjoy the weather, okay? So enjoy, and I'll see you all in a couple of weeks online, okay? So don't forget, next week is um, escape room. And then the next one is pizza. So we will see you all then. Take care. Bye. <laughs>